So today we will be making raw poultry. I'll be using these three colors to simulate the flesh. Gently roll it out into the shape of a marshmallow. Yeah, that's about right. And now to use these three colors for the chicken skin. Now I'm off to assemble my cane, wrapping the outer layer of my flesh with the skin. Fun fact, did you know that chickens have prehistoric roots? Apparently they're the closest living relative of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here I'm just cutting off a small portion of my cane and just closing the ends by pinching the tips and now smoothing it out and closing the ends. Now I'm working on the body of the chicken and I'm just smoothing out the bottom half of the ball to create a balloon-like shape. With my needle tool I'm creating a line down the center of the chicken chest. You kind of want it to resemble the shape of a heart. With the handle of my needle tool, I'm creating the goosebump texture on the skin. Don't be afraid to go over it a few times in different directions. It just gives it a more natural look. Here I'm just cutting off the tip of the chicken's chest and then opening up the tail end of the cavity. Back to the remainder of the cane, I'm going to reduce it, cut off a few slices, and then I'm going to start making the wings and the legs. Here again, I'm just squeezing the tips, both sides, and then forming a S shape with a tapered end. Don't worry about it being perfect. Remember, wings come in all shapes and sizes. So, just have fun. And once again, I'll use the side of my needle tool to give my wing texture. You'll have to repeat this process again, but this time your wing will be in the shape of a Z. Now we're moving on to the legs. Again, same cane, same process. This one kind of looks like a short handled golf club. Again, don't forget to do the reverse side. How exciting, it's time to assemble our chicken. I have a feeling she's gonna be super cute. Start off with the legs, and then we're going to smooth out the back. And now we're gonna give her some wings. She's already starting to look so adorable. One more to go. Let's call you Sally Manila, the life of every party. Now I'm just pulling out my dark pink chalk pastel and painting the tip of the wings and down the middle of her chest. Oh, don't forget under the arm. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.